Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation, sort of. We're not actually going to solve for it, but we'll have an interesting discussion about this. I'm going to ask some follow-up questions. Anyways, we have f of xy equals f of x plus f of y minus 1, and we're given that f of 2 equals k, where k is a constant, a real number, and we're supposed to evaluate f of 16, of course, in terms of k. Great, so let's go ahead and see how we can find it. First of all, notice that, and by the way, this function is defined on the set of whatever you want to define it on. It doesn't matter. Okay, you can use integers, you can use uh, just powers of 2, you know, so on and so forth. Anyways, so we have the product here. So I can take advantage of that and replace x and y with 2 first. That's going to give me f of 2 times 2, which is f of 4 equals f of 2 plus f of 2 minus 1. This is nice because it allows me to associate f of 2 with f of 4, which is 2 squared. Now, f of 2 is equal to k, so from here, f of 4 is going to become 2k minus 1. Great. Now, let's see how we can go to 16 from here, and I'm hoping that you've seen the solution path already. 4 times 4 is equal to 16, so I can now set x and y both equal to 4. And now that's going to give me f of, from the definition, 4 times 4, which is 16, equals f of 4 plus f of 4 minus 1. Now f of 4 is already known in terms of k, so I can go ahead and substitute because now this can be written as 2 times f of 4 minus 1. And now f of 16 can be written as 2 times 2k minus 1 minus 1. So from here we get 4k minus 2 minus 1, which is 4k minus 3. And that's going to give us the value of f of 16. So we found the answer in terms of k, which is cool. But let's go ahead and talk about a couple other things. Can we find f of 8, for example, right? And the answer is yes. Let me rewrite the equation here. f of xy is f of x plus f of y minus 1. I hope you already memorized it. So now I can use 4 and 2 here, right? f of 4 plus f of 2 minus 1, because I know both of them in terms of k. f of 4 is equal to 2k minus 1, just using our cheat sheet. And f of 2 is given as k, remember? So from here, f of 8 becomes 3k minus 2. Awesome, you were able to find f of k. How about f of 1. Can we find f of 1? Let's give it a try. Well, to find f of 1, I can just go ahead and use our expression with 2 and 1, right? 2 times 1 is going to work. So f of 2 is going to be f of 2 plus f of 1 minus 1. Mysteriously, f of 2 cancels out, leaving us with 0. That means f of 1 equals 1. All right, great. Now, the million dollar question is, can we find f of 2 to the power n, any power of 2. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of these results. f of 1, we got 1. f of 2 was given as k, right? f of 4 was 2k minus 1, remember? Right? And then f of 16, but let's go ahead and write f of 8 first. What was f of 8? 3k minus 2. And f of 16 was 4k minus 3. I hope this makes sense. Hopefully you see the pattern. And looking at the pattern, I'm just guessing that f of 2 to the power 16, notice that 16 is 2 to the fourth power, so that number goes here and goes here, multiply by k. And I'm subtracting 1 less than 4, which is 3, and that is supposed to be n minus 1. So from here, f of 2 to the power n equals nk minus n plus 1. And obviously, this can be proven using induction. And if you check f of 1, it's also going to fit this formula. If you replace n with 0, then you get f of 1 equals 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.